The airmen of the corrosion control flight at Shaw have been working for nearly two weeks to restore this F-16. It took the whole first week just to sand away the old paint, and now they are ready to apply the new paint. Staff Sergeant Walter Smith talked about how much different restoring this aircraft is from what they normally do. It's a lot more difficult here. You got outside environments influencing everything, and this aircraft is on a pedestal right now. So we have to do everything from the left. The longest and most labor-intensive part of the process is stenciling. They use a technique called reverse stenciling to put all of the signs and numbers that you see on the aircraft into place. First, they have to put all of the stickers onto the airplane and then they are ready to apply paint. Staff Sergeant Smith also talked about all of the work that goes into restoring an aircraft. It entails sanding, washing the aircraft, in this case wiping it down, priming the aircraft, which is the glossy color you see behind you, dark gray, and you guys are applying the top coat right now, and then clear coat, which is the fifth and final step. The top coat consists of two layers of paint for each of two different colors. The first is a lighter color that gets sprayed over the entire airplane. Then a darker color gets sprayed only over the top of the aircraft. After spraying the second color, the stencils are removed and a clear coat is sprayed over the entire airplane. After the clear coat is applied, the jet will need to sit and cure for three days. Senior Airman Chris Beaver, Shaw Air Force Base, South Carolina.